Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. And uh, in this video, we will see the type 4 T test. We know that T tests are four types type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. This video is dedicatedly, we, are, uh, we will study the type 4 T test. See, when we are using a type 4 T test, when you are comparing the one sample with another sample, not with the population. Sample don't compare with the population in type 3, type 4. Type 1, type 2, dedicatively for type 1 t-test, type 2 t-test, dedicatively for population comparing with sample. Type 4, sample is comparing with another sample. When that sample numbers are also equal. See, sample size of the first group equal to sample size of the second group, then you have to use the type 4. See here in this example, how many samples are in the score 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 11 are there. In score 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11 are equal is there. So here also 11. And in sample, uh, that is second group also 11 is there. Since it is a equal both and one sample comparing to another sample, we have to select a type 4 t-test. Okay. If it is unequal, type 3. Okay. Uh, and question, following is the data of the disintegration time of the two samples. Sample 1 is equal to 11 tablets. Sample 2 is equal to 11 tablets. And given is the disintegration time, not a dissolution. Okay, from a batch. Okay, find is there any is really there is any significant difference is there or some little bit is there unsignificant is there like that we have to now calculate with the help of a p test. Okay, type four. See here these are the tablets, eleven tablets. Here also eleven tablets. This is the disintegration test operators and this is the time in minutes. How many minutes it is required for the disintegration? Okay. See, first what you have to do, x minus y. This is x. This is y. You have to calculate the x minus y first. See, minus 17, minus 10, minus 10, minus 8. Like that you have to calculate. First step. Next step. You have to sum up all these things you have to sum up with the symbols. Okay, all the symbols. So you got a minus 70. Okay. Now <clears throat> x minus y whole square. So 17 whole square, 10 whole square, 10 whole square. So here there is no problem of a minus or plus. We know that minus into minus is plus. Plus into plus also, plus into uh, plus also, plus only. Okay. So we got the x minus y whole square values. Right. Next, you have to sum up. This is also x minus y whole square sum up. Okay. Next, this is a formula. Use the following formula to calculate the t score summation of d minus n. Uh, summation of d square minus this is the formula you have to uh, by heart or uh, practice so yeah ed is equal to what is the ed it is obtained from the second step and ed square sum of the square differences obtained from fourth step ed square sum of the differences from step two so that is which is squared so that values you have to be calculated. Finally, I got the T value minus 2.74 obtained T value. Now obtained T value, we have to compare with the standard T value. Standard T value is obtained from the table. See here, paired T tests. This is also called as a paired T tests or it is also called as a, see here, dependent t-test. Here I have shown, okay? Paired, because number of samples are equal. That's why it is called as a paired t-test. Keep in your mind, paired t-test or dependent also. 
now what you have to do degrees of freedom 10 because uh, here they gave no n minus 1 n is nothing but number of samples are 11 only 11 minus 1 is equal to 10 you got degrees of freedom uh, level is alpha level in the question they have gave 0 0.05 level that is nothing but 5 percentage this is the 5 percentage it is a paid t-test table so now you see the value obtained standard t value how much it is showing 2.2 28. See here, this is the two point obtained T value. Now compare the standard T value. Now Bahubali the conclusion, right? Bahubali the beginning, Bahubali the conclusion. Compare your T table value obtained from step 7, 2.228 to the your calculated T value minus 2.74. The calculated T value is greater than the table value. Okay, at alpha level of 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis. See here, minus you do, ignore the minus here. Minus you should not consider. So 2.27 is greater than the 2.2. .2. So null hypothesis rejection means sample one not equal to sample two. Disintegration time of tablets of group one does not equal to disintegration time of the tablets from the group two. That is a conclusion, right? Yeah. In the next video, we will see the chi-square tests. <coughs> okay. In my playlist, I have kept already all the tests according to your syllabus. Okay. That you go and watch it.